still love it. <laughs> so welcome to our team call. This is the final prepping call in anticipation for what's going to happen next week. So there are some of you that are new that weren't here last year. Some of you were here last year. Um, if you're watching this on playback, whether you're new or whether you're an OG, it's nice to just have a refresher for what's about to happen. But before that, I want to talk about um, some of the things that kind of were announced this week, just to give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, so you need I think I mentioned this maybe last week, but I don't think I did. They changed the party situation again. So um, back in August, they changed the parties for presenters. You could only have one personally hosted party a month and um, you only got 5% rewards. Well, they changed that starting December or November the 8th, you can have as many parties self-hosted as you want in a month, but you still only get the 5% rewards. So, um, so that's a, that's nice, right? They gave us back a little bit more of our rewards. Now we can use them to buy gifts for our, um, our parties and our hostesses and do giveaways and things like that. I know personally, I like to use my Y cash for my, my personal use items. So I don't like to pay for my face wash and I don't like to pay for my mask. I like to use my, uh, Y cash for that. So it's nice to have, um, a little bit more flexibility with that. Um, that they made that change. And then the other change that they announced is that starting December 1st, the way the car bonus structure is put out, it's going to, it's going to have one small tweak. So right now everyone is eligible to earn the car bonus, no matter what your status is. It's a $250 car bonus and you have to have $2,500 in first line sales. So it's, you could do that all by yourself. Literally, you, I've, I've seen people earn the car bonus by selling that much themselves. Obviously, you'd prefer to have a team that's helping you get to that. And then you have to have $500 in personal sales in order to qualify or in order to light it up green or whatever. You guys saw the dashboard. You've got the little tracker, right? Well, starting December 1st, they're going to add one additional requirement, and that is that you have to have somebody on your team in their fast start period with at least $50 in PRS. So what that's asking you to do is grow and teach your team how to grow right? So book, sponsor, sell, book, sponsor, sell. And when you always have somebody new on your team, you want to be teaching them how to book, sponsor, sell. So getting them with $50 in sales is how you're going to, it's the additional caveat, right? So what that prevents is some people that are just riding their teams and they're not doing the work right but you want to always be leading from the front you want to always be recruiting you want to always be teaching your new girls how to get sales and how to hit fast start and so it's it's a requirement that yes it's another hoop to jump through but ultimately i think it's going to make you a stronger and better leader and that is definitely not a bad thing so um, those were two big changes that happened this last week, um, and I don't think we talked about that last week on the team call, so I wanted to go ahead and go over that with you guys really quick. And then I wanted to talk about a little bit more detail, nitty-gritty stuff about what's going on this uh, week for the Thanksgiving um, specials. So they just announced, uh, you might have saw the video, thank you, Amber, for sharing that in the team page. Uh, that the, the first bundle will go live on Thanksgiving Day. He's like lurking in the background, you know, don't mind me in my robe, drinking my drink. <laughs> Sorry, he distracted me. Sorry. No, you're good, you're good. Um, so the first bundle will go live on, thir on Thanksgiving morning at 6 a.m. Pacific time. So that's 9 a.m. Eastern. But usually they announce it the night before. So on Wednesday night, they'll tell us what the bundle is. And what that does is it gives you an opportunity to get customers and get invoices out to customers and collect all the money so that you can sit in line for them and order as many as you need to for your customers because um, 
if it's anything like last year, these bundles sell out within the first couple of hours. So you wanna make sure that your finger trigger ready, quick draw McGraw ready to get these bundles. And the only way you can really make sure that your customers are satisfied is if you take the payment up front and then you order as many as you need to. And that's also great because now that they've uh, made it unlimited parties, now you can get a lot of rewards coming up this next week. And there will be seven days of a, a, a bundle, a bundle, a Black Friday bundle, they'll have a, you know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, they'll have an entire week of bundles. Each bundle is marked down about 30%. So when I want to talk about like the strategy, I don't know, some of you may have seen it already. Today I, I launched my kind of like pregame. It's, it's the event that I created that it's going to happen. I, I, I told people be the first to know. I've already got 30 people confirmed to come. I expect to have at least 50 or 60 of my customers confirmed to come and leading up to go time Wednesday I'm gonna post every day in there just kind of like talking a little bit about bundles like talking a little bit about products I'm gonna run some games I'm gonna do some and I'm, I'm doing a giveaway so people more people will commit to coming and they'll add their friends you just like you would run a regular party but this is like the Lala Palooza of events okay so I'm giving away an entire collection as part of this event but it's because I know I'm going to have a lot of rewards and, and when you give away and also to be fair, it's the $79 collection, but doesn't it sound amazing to say I'm giving away an entire collection, right? Like everybody's getting excited. It's $79. Yes. I'm going to use all my Y cash to pay for that. So what that does is it gets people motivated to buy because not only will they buy maybe some stocking stuffers, maybe some personal care items, but then they could win a collection. And I'm even going to talk about it as in, if you win this, hopefully my internet's being okay. It's been a turd all day. Can you guys still see me? Did I freeze? You did freeze. You're in and out. But you're, yeah, I can hear you constantly, but your picture doesn't stay. Constantly. Okay, as long as you can still hear me, that's fine. Um, that, you know, and now I'm even going to explain it. Like, if you win this collection, no, you can't hear me now. Oh, my goodness. Can you hear me now? Yep. Uh, my internet has been so sketchy since, uh, during this storm. It's uh, honestly almost always sketchy so I don't now know I <laughs> oh my god Holly I wish you could have seen that screenshot of you taking a bite it was right right when the salad was going in all right <laughs> you guys can't hear me this sucks all right let me try and get it together what what? I don't care, Jackson. Can you guys hear me now? Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm I, I have no power over this. This is out of my control. Okay, so that's how I'm, uh, I think what I was saying is about the collection. I'm going to even tell them this would make perfect, you could break this up. If it's not something that you want, break it up and give it away. The holidays are right around the corner. And this is perfect for us because I don't want you guys to limit yourself in thinking Christmas. Hanukkah is the first week of December. So when Hanukkah comes around, they give smaller gifts for eight days. So they're not buying like huge things, but they might buy some lip glosses and things like that. Those are really great Hanukkah presents. So um, you, it, would, it would be wise of you to incorporate both as part of your marketing strategy. Include a, a little bit of Hanukkah graphics and, you know, eight crazy nights of gifts. Wouldn't it be great to get some lip gloss as part, you know, like just do something um, to at least acknowledge that Christmas isn't the only holiday that's coming up that's about giving gifts and celebrating and a holiday. You know what I mean? We want to be um, culturally diverse and able to support our customers on all their levels. And we certainly don't want our Jewish customers to feel isolated during this time. 
Um, so just a little bit of awareness and add, just sprinkle in one thing. I'm sure they would be grateful for it. And I'm sure that it would go, it would mean a lot to them that you are considering them. Okay. So, um, so yes, I'm going to give away an entire collection. And then on Sunday night, I talked about, about this a little bit last week. I'm doing a complete trunk sale where everything's going to be marked down. I'm going to get do like little bundles for people, all kinds of things. Um, but I wanted to talk really quick about how I manage my trunk sales, because if you are fortunate enough to have a big one, it can, excuse me, it can get really overwhelming really quick with keeping track of who ordered what. So I post the picture of the item that's on sale and then, and I'll let that run for the whole three hours, whatever the pictures are. But when the party is over, I turn off the commenting on all of the photos so that no one else can go back in and order anything. And then what I do is I take a piece of paper. Hold on, I'm reaching for a piece of paper. I take a piece of paper. This is this might sound so simple and basic, you guys, but this has saved me way more times than you can imagine. I take I take a piece of paper and I break it up into four sheets. So now I've got four squares. Each one of these squares now, imagine that I just broke this up, is now a client card for the flash sale. So Susie ordered this, this, this. Tammy ordered this, this, this. So and so ordered this, 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 right? And then I'm not super fancy. I spread it all out either on my dining room table or on my floor in my makeup studio. And I just put all the orders together. In addition to that, I have their name here, their email, I write it down because they probably gave me a comment. And then I also write um, invoice when I invoice them paid when they're paid and shipped when it's shipped so that I know that I've done all the steps and it, and it just helps me keep everything in, in track. And then later after the flash sale, after everything's done, I have all these little pieces of paper that now I can come back and I can update my spreadsheet with everybody that ordered and what they ordered. And I just go through one paper at a time and I, and I populate it into my spreadsheet so that I have my customer log and my order log for November. And then the last thing is I, I save these in my binder. So just to circle back on the binders, we, we launched those like maybe a year ago or something like that. We created binders. If you are around, there are forms, but I always keep a record of any of my flash sales or any of my home parties or any of my online events so that I, I have a record so that I know what I, what I did last year, right? I have something that tells me what I did last year. I'm not trying to remember because that is not reliable. Anyway, so I save all of these, right? And then I have this resource. So if a customer comes back to me and says, uh, I thought I ordered this or I thought I ordered that, I'll go out and I'll get their piece of paper and see what I wrote down. And that's just another checks and balances way of kind of like staying organized, right? Like I'm not gonna remember two weeks from now what you bought from me in my flash sale, but I got this piece of paper where I wrote it down. So at least now I have a paper trail. For me, I like to I like to have a, a piece of paper. I'm not very good with like apps on my phone, like keeping notes and stuff like that. I like to have a hard copy. It just makes me feel a little bit more organized in my headspace. So um, that's one of my big tips for that. And another way that you could um, organize your stuff is some people get, um, and I've thought about this before, but I just haven't done it. You know those shoe organizers that you can hang on your door? So if you have one of those that doesn't have any shoes in it, or you just take your shoes out for a little while, then you could put the little pieces of paper in the shoe organizer. And as you have your products, then you can pop everything in there, right? And so then you're a little bit more organized. It's just one of the many ways that you could keep your orders separated. Because if you get all of your products out on the floor, it can feel overwhelming. I think I, every year I've sold over $1,000 in one night. On, on this on this night specifically. So imagine a thousand dollars worth of lip glosses and liners and mascaras. It 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 can be very overwhelming if you're not organized. So having your game plan 
together ahead of time is really nice. If you have any little bins or anything like that, like my kids have like these toy bins, you know, like a bunch of different little stacking bins. So you could use something like that to kind of keep your customers organized and that would be um, good. Another thing that I do with every order especially this time of year as I send a thank you card and a 10% off their next order because I want them to order again, maybe for somebody else's Christmas present, right? So I always send everybody that orders from this sale a 10% off, um, uh, and a thank you card and a 10% off their next order. Um, it's just a nice way to add on. And it's also a great time to throw in some little extra samples. Like if you have any like mask samples or any of the, everybody's got the, uh, well, not everybody, but I know I have like 20 or 30, um, fragrance samples because they come in every order. So why not throw that into your customer? Why not push that along to them, right? That's the only way you're going to sell fragrances is if they can actually smell them. I don't know any way to sell fragrance over the internet. There's no scratch and sniff screens. So I, I'm struggling with that one. But why not throw those little zip strips in there? Um, and something, I mean, I, I, Holly does handwritten cards to everybody all year long. Um, and I just think that that commitment to customer service is definitely the standard. I am not that good in my life. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Let's make, all right. Now we're just going to see me. How about that? I don't know. I don't know what is going on with this Zoom, but you guys can still see me, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Well, um, I don't know why it's being like this. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and um, open this up for questions because I want you guys to um, make sure that you are prepared because a lot is getting ready to ha um, happen and I want to make sure that you guys are ready. Question. Yes. Your eight days of bundles, are you creating a separate group? Yes. I'm okay. not a group. I created an event. For the eight, um, not for your trunk sale, but for the... Not it's for all together. It's, it's all, all together. together. Okay. Because okay. I want... I want everybody to get in on the action as early as possible and I want to build some excitement around it and somebody might want to bundle or they might want to participate in the trunk sale but then they see a bundle that like speaks to their soul and why not go in for the double dip okay I, I, I'm not, had my, I already had my trunk sale so I don't have a trunk sale but um, I was considering doing a text message like group like some of the other i've seen some of the other presenters are doing yeah um, so i was thinking about doing that and how are you doing your your um collection raffle like anybody who purchases a bundle or anybody i'm going to give lots of different options for them to earn points that are no purchase necessary because okay. in the beginning i want to boost the events algorithm and i want people to get notifications and start to see that things are happening before things actually start to happen right so i'm going to give them um tickets for clicking going. I'm gonna give them okay. tickets for posting their current makeup situation. I'm gonna give them um, tickets for posting their wish list. I'm gonna give them tickets for inviting their friends. So those are all really like easy ways that they can become a part of the event without having to buy anything, right? I'm, gonna I'm probably gonna give them tickets for sharing the event on their page. If you share this on your wall, this event on your wall, uh, you're going to get some tickets. And what that does is um, it, uh, it opens up my network. Okay. So um, it won't be a private event. It's not a private event, but it is an event. Right. And so it's not on my main wall and it's not, it's not against compliance because all parties are events, right? Like that's the whole right. point. Like how else am I going to do it if it's, right. So, and it's under the guise of all these deals and unique is doing a lot of the deals. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not misrepresenting or doing something against compliance. Okay. Um, but, and, and the, all of the 
the deals, well, not the deals, all of the tickets, the free pay to play, whatever, no purchase necessary ways are going to be leading up to Wednesday. So like tomorrow, I'm going to post, um, click going for five chances to win, right? And then the next day, which is going to be Saturday, I'm going to put, invite some friends to play and you'll get five more tickets. And then on Monday or Sunday, whatever, share on your timeline for tickets. You know what I mean? And I'm just going to kind of like get them interacting. I'll keep a, a little a running tally, a running little spreadsheet. You know, I'll get them excited about it. And um, yeah. And then obviously thank yous when everybody buys something, make sure to shout them out, give them a big thank you in the event. Um, yeah. Anybody else? Do I you hope you guys are excited. Do you use uh, PayPal for invoicing? Like, I is like there a way pay around the fees. There's no well, I mean, the the thing with being around the fees is that you open yourself up for um, not being protected because doing it that way, you're protected. So if if they um, try to like get a refund like or whatever try to get their money back or whatever paypal like covers you and and like um i guess it's more from the buyer standpoint it's just a little bit more of a legitimate way you could have them send the money to you friends and family and then there is no fee um but when they do that there's no invoice and there's no way to like like that's another thing that i have is my paypal invoice list for my entire career so i always can go back and see who ordered what. It just helps me with follow-ups. Uh, I have their email address and everything like that. Um, it Venmo. also, go ahead. Does anybody use Venmo? I use Venmo all the time. I've used Venmo like twice. Now if you, when you transfer, does it take like with the Venmo, does it take time to transfer to your bank account? It'll take three days. It, it takes. It says it takes three days. It's usually in there the next business day. Um, you can also transfer it for a fee. I think it was twenty five cents if you transfer it to your debit card. But it's done through your bank account. It's not done through a credit card. Um. So I honestly, I, this thing is just like changing for no reason. I don't know why. Um. So. One of the things that I, that's the like uh, with Venmo, one of the problems is it allows um, it, it Venmo takes three days, but with PayPal, you get the money right away. Mm -hmm. And so if you're doing the bundles, it's going to make it so that you can literally have all the money that you need, except for like the small little fee. Um, I don't know why it's doing this. Lex, I'm gonna, Lex, you're doing something on your phone and you keep hijacking my video. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kick her out. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> she keeps doing something and she keeps hijacking the video. Um, okay, she might log back in, we'll see. Um, so yeah, so the one thing with PayPal is that you get the money right away so that you're ready on the next morning when the deals go live, you don't have to wait for it to transfer. That's like the only reason why I use PayPal is because I like having the money right away and you can use PayPal to check out on the unique website. So you don't even have to worry about transferring the money. So for me, that's, it's just the more convenient way Mm -hmm. And the fee is just part of doing business. It doesn't bother yeah. me that much. And the 10% off coupons that you send everybody, do you make them yourself? Or do mm -hmm. uh, let me see if I have one. I'll show it to you guys really quick. I might have one here. Uh, no, those I don't. Anyway, it's just a postcard. Um, and it's a thank you card and it's got my picture on it. And it, I, I wrote something that says your business means so much to me. I'm so grateful to have you as one of my customers. Please enjoy 10% off your next order. Um, and it's like something that I wrote, but I had it printed on a card so that I don't have to handwrite it. Cause I do not have cute handwriting. I was not one of those girls that was given like cute handwriting. I, I look like a toddler. <laughs> so, um, so I just, um, 
through Vistaprint. Okay. But you can handwrite them, that's fine. I also did business cards that say that too. So if you want like something smaller and a little like cheaper, I think you can get like a hundred, like five, couple hundred business cards for like $10 or $12 or something. So through Vistaprint. Um, but yeah. Okay. Anybody else, any questions? I would recommend going ahead and setting up your group or your event or whatever it is, probably by Sunday so that you have a couple of days to get people excited and to hype them up and just to make them aware that it's even happening because we, you know our news feeds are so saturated. It might take them a couple of days to even know that you're doing it and they might not get the notice right away. So you need to give yourself a couple of days to warm them up and get them excited for what's about to happen. So I would say no later than Sunday, but I already, I, I signed, I started mine up today. So anyway, anybody else? I'm so excited. There will be no team call next week. It is Thanksgiving. I want you guys to enjoy the time with your family, you know, gobble till you wobble, do all the things, enjoy, enjoy your family time. And I will see you after the feeding frenzy. All right. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Happy Thanksgiving, my, my loves. Bye.